Till the last video in the digital marketing case study, we have seen the data set, taken the quick note on the data set, knew some key terms for the digital marketing case studies, built some KPIs and formulas. Later on, we have gone through the Google Data Studio, have made those formula KPIs right here in the data section. Then we have seen some uh, features of the Google Data Studio and mm, now we are going to create some few visualization that are scorecards for now so firstly you can see that this is a sample visualization which is automatically created by the google data studio based on our data set so for right now we will select it out and press delete to remove it so once it is removed we want to create a chart you can add a chart from here so firstly we are trying to use the scorecards so once we click the scorecard we can put it here it has automatically taken uh, it has automatically taken some uh, data from here that is record count but we want to see the total number of clicks so we will do the clicks here and we will do the aggregation as sum here so now the clicks as we can see that it's showing clicks right here now the uh, next one that we want to create is the average ctr so next we will create another scorecard right here and we will make it as click through rate now we won't do the sum of the click through rate because click through rate is a percentage so we will do the average of it so we will do average of it and write avg dot ctr so this is our average average ctr this is our total click so we will write it as total clicks so these two are done next we will write the total number of impression next uh, we will again add a scorecard right here and we will do total impressions we will take it as number yes this is then total impression we will find it as impressions and rename it as total impressions We will click it and we can see that total number of impression is R6965. So we will resize it according to our need. So this is our total impressions now. So we will resize it according to our need. So this is our total impressions now. Next, now we can see that this is our click, total clicks, average CTR and total impressions. So this will all come under click through rate and impressions. So we will create a text box here and write it as click through rate and impressions we are we are calculating it by clicks click through rate and impressions so this is here uh, here you can see that we can change the text properties and all those things so click through rate and impressions is our heading here so we will increase its size by 20 we'll try to bold it out and the second one we will try to it will come in center and this one will also come in center the click through rate and impression or
yeah so this is our first this is our first click through rate and impression here we have calculated total clicks average ctr value total impressions now we will go upon the conversion rates and cost so you can write the text box again and again i am trying to control c that is copy and control v again so that we will save the formatting and rewrite it again so second thing we will write it as conversion rate and cost so conversion rate and cost it will show by conversion rate and cost per variance so here we will see it by by conversion rate and cost divided by conversion so now here we will add two scorecards you can directly click on it so that we have the formatting right here because we can take a quick hack from it and here we will see it as conversion rate so conversion rate the conversion rate is right here now we will go to this setting conversion rate is written we are taking it as average because it is a rate so we can see that 3.16 our conversion rate is coming now again we will do it control c control v so that we should have the formatting so second thing we will do the cost per conversion so here we are writing cost per conversion that is cpcr here we will do the average of cost per conversion value so 28.9 is the cost per conversion value here we can change this to the dollars so usd dollar 28.90 is the cost per conversion we won't uh, write the cost per conversion again and again so we will do only cpc so this is our cost per conversion next we will do that is cost per click cost per click scorecards so again we will select it we will do control c here and we will do control v so here it will come this is our cost per click cost per clicks and here we will show it by cost and cost per click here we will show two things so firstly here we will show it as cost that is our total cost we will do some of it and here this data is in currency format so in the data type we will change it as to currency of us dollars and here we we have the cost per click so cost per click cpc right here and we will do the cost per click as an average value and it is also a currency data type of usd so cost per click in dollar is 7.68 now we will move on the returns so i am taking so i am selecting this and pasting it again so that we have already predefined format now here we will write it as returns and returns we will calculate it by return on investment and return on ad spend so by roi that is return
that is written on investment and ROAS that is written on ads fund. So this is our returns. Now first we have the ROI that is return on investment. So here we will go in matrix and we will see ROI that is return on investment. The sum is correct because our investment is in sum. We will change the currency to the USD dollar. So this is our return on investment. We won't uh, want all return on investment return so ROI is more than enough similarly for the ROAS so here we will write it as ROAS that is return on ad spend the sum is correct again we will write it as ROAS it is taking <laughs> some time but let it take until that we will create it to the US dollar. So here we have created it. So now we will do a little bit of formatting. So click through rate will come right here. These all three things will come right here. The conversion rate will come here. this right here and this thing right here this is cost per click cost per click will come here it is it is automatically showing us the alignment so we will follow it and we will select all these things and we will move it to the little bit of center similarly for returns now we have created a different kinds of scorecard we can add a shape here so this is our first one here you can see that there we have different options the background color border border radius yes saturation and other things we can select it out and order we want to bring it back send to back so we have send it backward So here is the first one. Similarly, we will do it for others. So this is a return on ad spend. Similarly, we will order it to send to back. We will send it back. And once again, we will send it back yeah So these are our scorecards. You can add more uh, things like you can round off the corner how much rounding you want like this. So you can do more more customization as per your requirements. So here I am doing a little bit of more customization 10 10 10 is there. 
can is there yeah this looks completely fine yeah so in the next video here we have learned different kinds of kpis and created with the help of scorecards that will show the different matrices in the next video we will go through the different kinds of bar chart line charts and other things so till then keep learning